Well, I'm delighted to be speaking to a new Panthers signing on Panthers TV in association with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems, and that's forward Diedrich Henbank. Diedrich, welcome to the Panthers. Thanks very much for joining us. First of all, what attracted you to come to Nottingham? Um, first of all, thank you. And then I think I had a good talk with the new head coach, John, and and Omar. Um, I think they really saw me as a player and as a person. Uh and I really liked the way they wanted to play. And the organization seemed really professional uh, with dedicated fans. So, uh, and yeah, that's why I chose Nottingham. Yeah, you talk about the dedicated fan base. There's a large, passionate following. Is that something that that, that you really like to play in front of, of passionate fans? Yeah, of course. I, th I feel like every player want to play uh, for dedicated fans that shows up no matter what. And and support the team and, and i feel like scrolling scrolling the social media i'm not am that the fan seems really really good and that's that's a big big bonus just talk us through your career you obviously came through the junior system in, in sweden with, with linkoping um just t tell me about your experiences first of all as a junior in sweden yeah i grew up in linkoping and played juniors here and Linkoping is uh, has their pro team in the SHL, uh, so I would say it's a really good um, organization as a whole, um, and developed very good players as Gustav Forsling playing the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs here, uh, and then I decided to move to to US to play college hockey, uh, which uh, for me was a really good path with a lot of development and and a degree as well and really good hockey. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch on, on that in a moment. But but obviously, you know, in your time with Inkapin, you got to play in in the, in the SHL, one of the best leagues in in Europe. What what was that experience like? Well, yeah, I got called up one game, and I think it was a home opener against the rivals. So that that was a uh, really big. Uh, I didn't have any minutes, <laughs> unfortunately, but it was really special to play for for your favorite team growing up, and for that organization, it was really cool. Even though you say you didn't get any minutes, but but can you just learn as a, as a young player? Because you must have just been a teenager then. Can you learn just from the experience of being around those professionals? Yeah, I mean, you you see everyone in the locker room, and you know they take care of you, and you see how professionals uh, act and behave in the locker room, and how good they are on the ice. It's definitely helpful. And you talked about that move to to North America. You know, was that as much for? hockey reasons as it was for education how much was the education reason behind it uh i would say 50 50. uh i feel like ncaa the college hockey league is really good it's a lot of skilled players and and the work ethic is really high and so the education is is for me a, a bonus that i that i see as a really good option for after a career uh, but the main reason is still hockey and obviously it was, you know, that when you first went to, to North America, you, the first time away for, from Europe, of course, and, and almost, almost, you know, from your home home country, how was that experience going to something totally new? Uh, a little bit scary, to be honest. Uh, I feel like I, it was way easier than I thought it would be. Um, of course, it's a new culture, language and everything but I feel they're really good at taking care of you uh, over there. And and it wasn't that hard. I stayed with the Bill family first year, which took uh, took me in like one of their own. So I had a really good time. And what sort of experiences, you know, hockey-wise? You know, the standard is, is the best, I guess, really, college hockey in North America. How did you, you know, how was the standard for you? I think the standard uh, with a smaller rink, it's way more physical and faster. Uh, so I felt like the hockey was more aggressive in a kind of way. And of course, there's a lot of skilled players. Uh, you can see in the um, World Cup here, you got some NCAA players, which are very skilled and young. Uh, so it's a, a good path for me. Do you have to change then as a player? I mean, you know, I guess coming through the, the Swedish system, which I expect is, is very skilled, do you have to adapt as a player when suddenly you're in a very different environment? Yeah, you do. Uh, it's, I mean, I, f I felt like I had kind of the same 
uh, type of players, Americans who want to play in Sweden. And that's why I feel like I fitted pretty good in North North America right away because uh, I want to play fast and I want to use my skating as much as I can. So uh, the difference wasn't that big for me, but I know some guys had, had some troubles with it. And, and just about coming to Nottingham, you know, is there much you know about the league? Do you have many contacts who have played in the league so far? No, I'm, I, I don't know. I haven't heard too much about it, to be honest. Uh, I've heard it's a, it, it's a good league, of course. And, you know, the fans really care about the hockey there. And, and there's three different time of championships you can win, or yeah. three titles. Uh, so, no, I'm very excited to be, to be part of it. Well, we're very excited to have you with us soon. So appreciate you joining us on Panthers TV and we'll see you very soon. Thank you.